Hi, and welcome to another Caveo product highlights release video. My name is Neil Kostecki. I'm a senior product manager on the Caveo for Salesforce line of business. And today joining me, Andre, I'm a system your software developer at Caveo. Today we're going to talk to you about the Caveo interface editor in Lightning Console and how you can edit Lightning components using it. But first, let's review the Spring 19 release highlights. We're focused on bringing you more Lightning, more components, new use cases, and easier configuration. It's really about providing a ton of value in this release. One of the things we're really excited about is our Caveo for Einstein Bots beta. This is something new for us, a new integration, and we really want to get your feedback on, on this early beta. All the features are available on the Caveo Cloud New Features page, and if you're interested, you can go to the App Exchange to install and learn and use all these new features. So let's dive in. So here we are in the Lightning Service Console. You see on the right side, I have the Caveo Lightning Insight panel, which is providing results while viewing a case. I also have the Caveo Attach Results component in the middle of the screen. This lets me see what content's been previously attached to my case from other reps while working on this case. And thirdly, I have the full search component, which lets me have a deeper dive view of search results. I can see more tabs, full facets, and I can really spend time searching for what I need. I'm going to go back to the case here and to the insight panel. And I just want to highlight one other thing here, which is this quick actions we have. So you can attach, preview, send as email, and post to feed. And this send as email action lets me send a link to a, a customer. But what I want to do is customize this. I want to send an article t a title, number, and the link to the article. So let's go into the Lightning Interface Editor, and I'll show you how we can customize these things. First off, we need a tab. On the right side, I can grab the tab component, drag it over into the screen, and name it. So you can see really easily with some Clicking and dragging, I can go ahead and create a new tab and then assign a filter. So I'm going to say document type is equal to article and apply that change. And now I can filter down to articles pretty easily. I'm then going to edit one of the result templates for articles and I'm going to go to the code view for this. I'm going to drop in some, some code that I have here that's actually going to set the article number, title, and a link to the article. So you can see here I'm overriding this data HTML body value. So I'm going to apply those changes. I'm going to save them. And I'm going to go back to the console. And so now once this reloads here, we'll actually be able to see my new tab that I've added as well as the new action uh, for the email, uh, send to email. So here's my articles tab. Great, I can now find the articles I need. And I can go ahead and click send as email to post, like I mentioned, the article number, title, and a link to the article. So now I'm gonna pass it to Andre, and he's gonna take us through how we can use the fields in the case to drive better relevance automatically in the insight panel. Thank you, Neil. As we can see here, we have a case subject saying, looking for a black diamond bike trail in Quebec. But if we take a look at the result, Result says, uh, results are about a survey and a bike trail in Colorado. So it's not really relevant to our contacts. To fix that, we can create a query parameter. Query parameter allows you to overwrite certain part of the query. The LQ parameter is used to send large uh, bodies of text to the machine learning. And machine learning will just take the relevant part and add it to your query. To do that, we can use this expression that says, take every case subject and inject it inside the LQ parameter. We can just add the rule. If we go back to the service console and refresh the query, we can now see that we have result saying, a result about begging trail in Quebec and lac de Laguay in Quebec. Great, thanks Andre. If you're interested to find out more about our Spring 19 release, check the links in the description to find out more. Thanks for watching.